ghost trip continues as my search for freedom finds myself at the edge of the ocean, looking out onto the vast water, wondering what it truly means to be free. As always, I have no idea what I'm doing, so kick back, relax, and enjoy episode 40. Freedom. Is it an idea, or is it actually a tangible thing? How do we find freedom? Where do we go to look for freedom? Who has it and who doesn't? These are the questions I'm asking myself as I travel the world, travel the shores of the Gulf of Mexico, the Gulf of the world. Many different species of birds flock around me as I walk the sands of time. Freedom is eluding me. It's elusive. But I will find it. And I will grasp hold of what it truly means to be free. Hey guys, I'm in St. Petersburg, Florida. This is, today is my first day swimming in the ocean. And my initial thoughts, it's very salty. Going deep is very scary. It's a good time. We'll see how far I can run in. Being a waterbender, this helps a lot with my training. I forgot to mention it. So excited for this waffle house i'm gonna set you guys right here so this is waffle house never had waffle house me eating it for the first time as you can see i've already taken a few bites because this is a 10 out of 10. i can very confidently say this is my favorite restaurant my favorite new restaurant that i've tried honestly it might be my favorite restaurant of all time i don't even know i don't know if i'm just hungry I said that last time too, but this is hitting like the inner depths of my soul. The customer service, the, some of the best customer service I've ever experienced in my life. The food, like look at that, come on. This is unbeatable. This is my most anticipated new restaurant to try on this road trip and wow, did not disappoint. Waffles are my favorite food of all time. Breakfast foods are my favorite foods of all time. Waffle House might be my favorite new restaurant of all time. And I don't say that lightly. I do not say that lightly. This is absolutely insane how good this is i don't know if it's just the atmosphere in there it was so positive the culture with waffle house i don't know i'm just amazed i just spilled syrup on this on this kitchen mat how dare i do that sorry for the terrible sound effects i now have to clean this kitchen mat whatever it's called i'll do it later i ordered a chicken hash brown bowl someone told me to order the all-star but i was in a rush and like i don't know i didn't understand that you could flip the menu but around and there was a breakfast on the other side so i just ordered this which i'm not regretting at all amazing and then i ordered the two waffles with chocolate chips and everything they cook it all like right in front of you it's just oh my gosh something about it that's so simple yet so good is this the most healthy no do i care absolutely not i can eat this every single day for the rest of my life i don't think you guys understand how good this is maybe it's i'm biased because i love waffles i love breakfast food or maybe i have a strong opinion because it was a very good day so far as far as me trying to find my own peace inner peace I went to the beach today swam in the ocean for the first time ever trying waffle house for the first time ever i don't know it's so good the chickens also cook perfectly which is kind of hard to do no they did not skimp on the chocolate chips either the batter is perfect the texture is almost dang near perfect and i got this to go that's the thing like if i ate it in in the the restaurant the diner it would have been even better it would have been even better <laughs> sorry i'm not eating like an animal right now this has just got me this tastes like og fortnite prime fortnite days like snow day from school playing fortnite with the boys snowstorm type of thing whole week of school is canceled christmas morning going on a snowmobile day trying some pow hitting that perfect that perfect i don't even know hitting that perfect drift when you're riding quad when you're going around a turn and the dust trail is like perfect curve it's like taking your girl out for italian on a cold fall night and you're wearing a flannel and you give her her jacket because she's cold it's like going for a run on a rainy day and there's lightning in the distance or like going for a swim during sunrise on the lake it's like standing on the beach at sunset and the sun's that orange glow it's like when you wake up at 3 a.m get a drink of water just that crisp coldness like a cold Christmas night, winter night, with the fireplace going and the Christmas tree lit up and it's snowing outside. It's like the sound of snow falling. So peaceful, so beautiful. Nothing can nothing can describe how good this food is, but also the memories it just unlocks. It's just, there's so many different emotions. 
about to make me cry. There's just no words to describe how amazing this is. Waffle House has really done it. They've done it. They've brought the feeling of home, the feeling of being someone who belongs, the feeling of happiness and mystery, all in into their flavor of their food, into who they are. It's like mysterious, guys. I just, I, just, mm. I, just, I wish I could explain to you how amazing this is. Every single moment of my life and of your life has led you to this moment, to this, this point in time. I think it's destiny that I'm here right now. It's destiny, it's fate, and God is good all the time. Guys, I'm getting full. I don't say that usually. I don't I don't usually get full. It is very sweet. That's one thing I'll say. This is very sweet. I probably could have just been okay with eating one and then saving one for later. But times like this, we used to pray for times like this. This is like playing Mario Kart with your brothers early in the morning on GameCube. Or playing Smash Bros with your homies, with your bros, with your brothers late at night. This is like making it to round 20 and Call of Duty Zombies with your people. The mom of the dead. This is like playing the farm with the Keens. Call of Duty Zombies Black Ops 2. No pack a punch, just straight box. This is like watching Avatar The Last Airbender for the first time. This is like experiencing Infinity War and Endgame and Revenge of the Sith. This is like watching Attack on Titan through its entirety for the first time. This is on level with watching Black Panther for the first time or, or watching, watching Transformers. This is on OG peak level with Transformers. One. If only Shia LaBeouf was here right now. You know, it is a little sad that I'm here alone doing this. I have all of you guys. I'm glad you guys could witness this moment in time, this moment in my life, this precious moment that I will never forget. This is a truly unforgettable experience that I just had. And I'm not even saying that because I'm on camera. I need a nap. I might take a nap. This is like the type of food that helps you have the greatest night's rest of your life. Like you haven't slept for 69 days and you finally get some sleep. This is like when you win the Super Bowl. You win the championship. It's gonna make a grown man cry. St. Petersburg, Florida. Waffle House. Absolute 10 out of 10. Amazing. This is my favorite restaurant of all time. See you guys later. I love you. Psych, we're not done with the video just quite yet because I want to show you guys. I went to the Marvels in Tampa Bay, Florida at the AMC Movie Theater. It was such a cool movie, such a cool vibe, and this was probably the biggest movie theater I've ever been to in my life. I gave the movie an 83 out of 100. Kamala Khan is my favorite character in this movie. And yeah, now we're ending the video.